Hi, it's Chris here. Uh, tonight's group talk topic was uh, your most dangerous experience. And maybe it's not surprising, but most um, people's most dangerous experiences come when they're overseas traveling. So I guess at the time, it's not uh, a good experience, but looking back, it always makes for a good story. So it was interesting listening to the different experiences people have had overseas. Um, now, one mistake today, um, it's quite simple, um, quite a simple mistake, so it could, uh, slowing down this, your speaking could help to fix this. Um, now, this is the sentence that was a mistake. Some country that I have been to, da, da, da. so some, plural, so more than one, so therefore it should be some countries that I have been to. So, something to keep an eye on there. Let's move on to some new words today, some new vocabulary. First one, hectic. So meaning very busy. So um, things have been hectic at work recently. So this would have a negative meaning saying that things have been really busy, pretty crazy, so hectic. Uh, next new word, acupuncture. So this is a Chinese method of treating pain and illness. Um, where they put needles into your body. So some people like it, some people don't, um, but here's an example sentence. Nowadays, many people like to use traditional Chinese practices to, such as acupuncture. So in the West, more and more nowadays, you see Chinese um, practices such as acupuncture being adopted. Okay, next new word, food poisoning. So this is when you become sick from eating some bad food. Um, so an example, when I went to India, I got food poisoning, which forced me to stay in my hotel room for three days. Okay. Um, Alright, so that's it from me for today. And I hopefully see you in a group talk soon. Bye.